About a month ago, I got a recommendation on my Discord server to find Minecraft's oldest recorded note block song. At first, I thought, hey, that'd be super easy. Probably won't even be interesting enough to make a video on. Little did I know, though, this journey would be full of twists, turns, wrenches, and excitement, as well as bringing a great group of people together to preserve a noteworthy, pun intended, piece of Minecraft history. And well, spoiler alert, we did it. We found the oldest note block song ever created and recorded in Minecraft. And this is the story of how that happened. I posted a call to action video a few weeks ago to enlist some people's help in the hunt, as well as present my research so far on the topic. I recommend watching that video real quick first, but here's a real quick summary of the early research that I did. I found the oldest noteblock map posted to Planet Minecraft, but it was three days after Beta 1.2, which was the version that noteblocks were released. I found the oldest video posted to the Minecraft forum, but it was one day after Beta 1.2's release. I then found the oldest noteblock YouTube video, which was posted on the day of the update. I figured this must be the oldest song, or at least super close to it, but I realized I needed some help to dig deeper. So I asked my relatively small but amazing community for help. And I did not expect to be flooded with so many inspired subscribers who helped shape this story into what it is now. Now what is that video that I mentioned? It is called First Song to be Played in Minecraft Beta 1.2 on Noteblocks, and was posted by user Chocolate Sailor on January 13th, 2011. This was found by searching for Minecraft Noteblocks before January 14th, 2011 on YouTube and scrolling to the bottom after sorting by new. The video is just over a minute long and features Chocolate Sailor playing Mary Had a Little Lamb on the Noteblocks on some sort of multiplayer server. The video itself is filled with nostalgia, like the Skype message noise playing every few seconds. I mentioned in my previous video that if this is the first, it would be super poetic because the first recorded audio on Thomas Edison's phonograph in history was him reciting Mary Had a Little Lamb. I wanted this to be true so bad for Minecraft history. The story was writing itself, but we still had a lot of work to do. I knew there might be something older, so we had to do our due diligence and look deeper into this. And secondly, I wanted to talk to Chocolate Sailor. I wanted to ask questions about the video, why they chose to post it, and if they still had that world or server stored away somewhere. There was so much that we wanted to know from them. However, they hadn't posted on YouTube in over a decade, didn't have any socials linked, and the username Chocolate Sailor turns up nothing in Google searches. This person has seemingly disappeared off of the face of the earth. And thus, the Discord team split into two groups. We had people looking for Chocolate Sailor and people looking for older videos. Let's start with the wild story of locating the long lost Chocolate Sailor. Thanks to user Kate on Discord, we were able to dig up the metadata for Chocolate Sailor's video using an online tool that I've linked below. It was posted January 13th, 2011 at 1816 UTC. What's interesting is that Notch's changelog for Beta 1.2 was posted just one hour earlier on Tumblr at 1712 UTC. We tried for a very long time to figure out when exactly Beta 1.2 went live because it had to have been before the changelog, but that time frame had to be the baseline point for now. So after digging through a few of Chocolate Sailor's videos, we found their Minecraft username during Beta 1.2, GM Freak. Using this newfound username, we found what probably was the server from the video, GM Freak's Anarchy server. However, that has been down since late 2011. The Minecraft forum account attached to the username GM Freak was last active in December 2011. The next thing we tried, and thanks again to Kate for this, was to see what the Minecraft username is now. And well, using NameMC, which is a program to find just that, we found that the GM Freak account has quite the history. The username has been changed 11 times. We ended up coming to the conclusion that the account probably changed ownership at some point. After searching through all of these names, the only one that came up with anything was, um, well, yeah, I'm not gonna say that one out loud. <laughs> 
This led me to a forum post in 2016 on Bad Lion applying for a spot on a server whitelist. The individual says that they are 13 years old in that post. Meaning, if this were still the original GM Freak or Chocolate Sailor, they were 7 or 8-ish years old when posting that noteblock video. Amongst other fairly sophisticated Minecraft videos and hosting an entire anarchy server, and we found another non-anarchy server, and a piece of evidence to support the change of ownership theory is that the GM Freak Minecraft forum account posted that they are 15 years old. Multiple times. Okay, so not only is the Chocolate Sailor YouTube channel inactive, but the Minecraft account and all related forum posts were too. With all hope seeming lost, we started researching some of the names in Chocolate Sailor's videos. Most were in the same boat, seemingly vanished off the face of the earth, until we found Yakkos 700. Thanks to my Discord member Aurora Borealis, we were able to locate Yakkos' Twitter page. Also, I'm probably butchering that name, so I'm sorry about that. Seeing that it was active sent a rush of dopamine to my brain. I knew we were getting close now. We had finally found an OG person who wasn't inactive. So I added him on Twitter and waited. While I was waiting, one of my Discord members, Thornless Shelf, located Yakkos' Patreon page. And there, we located his Discord server. So I joined, sent a message explaining our situation, and he responded incredibly quick. Much to my disappointment though, he didn't remember much about that time, and had no clue who Chocolate Sailor even was. He was able to send me a link to another still active member of the GM Freak server, so the breadcrumb trail continued. However, once we reached this point, and before we could look into that other member, something completely unexpected happened. Uh, yeah, all of that hard work locating someone without a digital trace for a decade was for nothing. Discord member Jamie64, who was leading the effort to locate older recordings, discovered something absolutely wild. Jamie found a video that is two minutes older than Chocolate Sailors. This video, Minecraft Music Blocks, hosted by Rox, was posted at 1814 UTC on January 13th, 2011. Remember, Chocolate Sailor's video was posted at 1816 UTC. Two minute difference. It is a three minute video of rocks messing with note blocks and showing them off, creating a really cool and catchy custom tune from them. So thus, the weeks long search for the elusive Chocolate Sailor screeched to a halt. All efforts pointed at getting in touch with Rox. And well, I wish I could say it was an epic journey like the Chocolate Sailor saga, but after Discord user Thornless Shelf discovered Rox's Epic Games username, I was able to easily locate his Twitter. And to all of our delight, he had tweeted earlier that day. The true holder of the oldest recorded note block song was still active. And so I added him asking if he'd be willing to chat, and shortly later, he responded. We then connected on Discord and well, the rest is history. I asked my Discord hunters what they would like to ask Rox, as well as a few questions I had originally planned for finding Chocolate Sailor. Due to the time zone differences and scheduling conflicts though, it was going to be really difficult to do this in a voice call. We agreed to have a brief interview over text. I asked Rox if he remembered making that video, and he does not, but he does remember the world he created it on. I asked him if he remembers rushing to make that video when Beta 1.2 came out. He mentioned something I've brought up a few times before. Back then, we didn't have a lot of information about Minecraft to scour through like we do today. It was valuable to post something that demonstrates how things work, and that was the initial goal for his video. He also mentioned just wanting to share these bits of things with his friends, never intending to have an audience. So then, the big question. I asked Rox if he still has that world to this day. It is a massive piece of Minecraft history after all. And well, I received good news and bad news to this question. The good news was he was actually able to locate the world on an old hard drive that he had. 
and he was willing to send it to me. The bad news, the site of the original Noteblock song from the video has been destroyed. This is where it would have been if it was still around. So while the note blocks are gone, the video remains a time capsule of Minecraft history forever. But while I was talking to Rox, I made sure the Discord team was still hunting, just in case. And Jamie had one more tiny wrench to throw into my gut. We found a forum post that was posted on the Minecraft forum at 1642 UTC the day of the update, so about an hour and a half before Rox's video. The title was Quick View of Note Blocks. However, the video was unavailable, meaning it was either privated or more likely completely deleted. It was posted by someone named Ilford Baker. But all of the efforts of finding this individual were futile. They haven't been active nearly as much as even Chocolate Sailor, and you all saw the attempts to find him. The Wayback Machine could not locate the video. Ilford Fox, which I believe is Ilford Baker, last streamed seven years ago. The last time they were on the Minecraft forum was 10 years ago, and their YouTube channel, or at least what I think is their YouTube channel, hasn't been touched in years as well. They are essentially unfindable. We spent many hours looking, but I eventually threw in the towel. Plus, the chance of them even having the video still is probably extremely low. So while it may have contained the technical first note block song, the fact that it's deleted disqualifies it in my mind. The search isn't over though. Despite my great community's excellent efforts, there is the obvious possibility of an older song. If you come across anything, leave a comment below. Remember, we are needing something older than Rox's video posted on January 13th, 2011 at 1816 UTC. If you have a world verifiably older than that, or can find a piece of media older, head over to my Discord server and let us all know. Special thanks to Kate, Jamie, Creeper Killer, Aurora Borealis, and Thornless Shell for their huge help in the hunt, as well as anyone I forgot to name. This was so cool, and I'm excited we've cemented yet another piece of Minecraft history into the books. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe for a potentially endless Minecraft experience, and I'll see you all in the next one.